hi guys it's your girl talisa and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm doing a rubber band crochet high puff so my hair is freshly washed i'm going to use my castor oil so this castor oil would give my hair a little softness so make sure i massage it into my scalp so i'm sectioning my hair now sectioning my hair into nine nine big so i have like two at the back four in the middle and three at the top so i went ahead and used my hair pins to hold my hair so the hair won't go back into where i'm parting then i went ahead and used my gem and shine to hold my hair in place so it won't fly so just give it a firm hold and I use my black elastic band to hold my hair so I did for most part so I reached the top so you guys you can see how I get it part So I did the same process with the shine and jump for all here. But what I did, I twist each time I do a hair, I twist it because I don't want it to get too too um dry or ear out or anything. So so I make sure I locked in the moisture in it. So when I'm going to put in my crush, you know, or when I put in my crush, I'll just open it out and just twist it. So as you can see, so I use a Ghana twist, it's springy water wave. So um, in my last video, I used this same hair. But what I didn't know, I cut the hair because I don't want it to be too long because eventually I'm going to cut it again after finishing so what i did i used like four part and i put it in one side and then i you take up four more four pieces more and then i push it at different angle so it would twist and it would actually hide the elastic band and actually my hair it wasn't in 90s it's actually 30 <laughs> i'm sorry i can't count sometimes yeah so i go ahead after crocheting the beard the crochet into my hair what i did was to twist it i twist it like normal i did not row twist it i think you just give it a normal twist So you guys, you see how that look? Wow, I was so in love with this twist. It just looked like um, boho locks to me. <laughs> I just in love with this twist. So guys, you can see how I did or what I did. So you can see I'm undoing the twist on my hair now. Then I stretch it to get it tight to the root. Then I twist. But actually my plan was to, my plan is to do the high puff. But when I finished this, I was like, oh my, did I, do I have to cut this? I was like, do I have to cut this? It looks so sweet. I was like in love with it like this.
So there's a closer look of me doing my crochet through the road. And guys, you have to know what you're doing because this here it kind of you have to make sure it's it holding the crochet needle properly, else it's going to give you problem when pulling it through. So you see two different angle, so I do it in two different angles, so it won't be a problem when I'm going to twist, so you won't see the elastic band, so the elastic band is high hidden. So I undo my either twist and I stretch it. I pull it so it would get tight to the root. At some point I was like to myself, oh my, do I have to cut this? Do I have to cut this? I was so in love with this look. It just looks so sweet. So I catch my hair up into one using the black elastic band. Yes, and then I cut, cut, cut. Yeah, I wanted a high puff. So I cut. I cut it and then I untwist it. Just trying to pick it up so I can get the perfect puff. So one side won't look, one side won't look um higher than one side. So I went ahead now and I used my edge control. And you know my edge control is this one the red one yeah then i went ahead and accessorized my hair i use this jumbo jumbo accessorizer guys okay, so what do you think about this this accessory in my hair I went ahead and I did my makeup, guys, and this is the finish. So, guys, tell me what do you think about my hair? My makeup? Guys, tell me what you think about this. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and see you next time. Goodbye!